Time for another walkthrough. Hey everyone, it's LJ here. Welcome back to another Squatchcraft video. I have another baby album to share with you. My newest project. This is my newest project. It is, the cover is eight and a half by nine and it has a three and a half inch spine. So we use the Little Baby Girl Collection by Fabric of Decoru. They are a gorgeous paper company. This is the paper collection we used. So they're a Ukrainian company. Gorgeous paper with all these stunning little pandas in. So let's have a look. On the front we have a shaker. We've got all those little hearts in there. And then this is a photo frame. There is a template inside, so you can tuck a picture of the baby in there. We have this beautiful ribbon on the front. On the spine, up at the top, we've got the ribbon with the heart. Down at the bottom, we've made this little cluster of flowers. And then we have this gorgeous dangle, which has a teddy bear, a pram, a foot, a building block, and then this little heart that says baby girl. And then this is the back. As with all my albums, this can be removed. It's on a lobster clip. So you can, if my hand wants to work, take it off and use it for something else. Okay, it is closed with this stunning baby girl ribbon. It says it's a girl with these footprints on, which is gorgeous. Okay, so, page one well the inside cover i do the inside cover as sort of like a baby bump mum and bump type project hello kitten excuse the cat so we've got oh baby a little pregnancy test sticker this then opens out to the side we've got a tuck spot here is the template for the cover photo space there to add pictures gorgeous heart trim along the bottom and then we have this large pocket and in this pocket we have a selection of goodies so to start off we have two five by seven photo mats so you can add your pictures there we then have the introducing card for the baby we have an achievements card and we have this cute little sentiment and then I have these stickers that have first, second and third trimester on them. So we created this little book where you can record what you realised in those trimesters, if you remember. Um, and then we have the rest of the die cut pieces that I've not used to decorate in here. And these will be included so that whoever buys this has them to decorate their photos to match the theme. Each page is then a month to view. I do a month per view of the first year of the baby's life. So every month has this card, which tells you what month it is and a little bit so you can date it. And then you get a tag in there where you can write, you know, length, weight, hair colour, eye colour, not eye colour and hair colour, that's not going to change, but length, weight, um, any milestones that they reach, you can write in for each month. There is still space here for a photograph. We then open this ribbon and for the first month we have a pop-up. So there's plenty of room here for a photo. This is left up so you can tuck your photo in behind it. Space for a photo above as well. And then these will hold Polaroid pictures or you could do some journaling on there. So that is for month one. Each page also has a pull-out page. So these are tunnel pages and they have a pull-out. I really struggled to tie bows. There we go. It has a pull out in the center where you can add more photos. Okay, and then that just slides back in. Okay, month two. Again, you've got the tag and the kit, and then this is a pinwheel page. Again, this is open so you can tuck your pictures behind it. Each one of these will hold a four by six picture front and back. 
You may need to trim it ever so slightly if you want a nice border, but it will hold a four by six picture. Month three, we have two little pockets. So again, we have the photo mats in there and then the little tag. We open this ribbon and we have a fold out, nice area for photos. And then here you can add a four by six photo or do some journaling. Redo this boat. And again, we have a pull out. Month four. Again, you have your tag and your card. And this is a Z fold, which opens out. And again, this is open for you to tuck a picture behind. Month five. Open up this ribbon. You have your tag and your ticket. We have space for large five by seven photos. This opens out, this opens again, and this opens out like so. However, this spins. So you can have landscape and portrait photos in this booklet and just spin it around to see whichever ones you have. Then close it up with this ribbon. Just use a selection of different baby girl ribbons throughout this because I think they're all super cute. And again, we have the pull out. Okay, six and seven are our twin pages in the center. Start with six months. We have this little card and the tag pulls out so you can write in it and then it just slots back into its little pocket here. And here we have a pull down waterfall. So you grab this bottom bit and it will scroll through your pictures. You can put pictures front and back of these. And then that slots back in there. Seven months, very similar. The card is at the top this time. And then this is a push-up waterfall. So this time it pushes up and then pulls back down. And again, you can put photos front and back. We have another pull-out here. Month eight is a double pocket. So in the top pocket, we have a large and a smaller photo mat. And then around this sort of time is when teeth start coming in. So we've included this tooth card and you've got your tag and ticket. Nine months looks very similar to our Z fold, but it is actually an even larger pullout. So you have got one, two, three, four, five full surfaces for you to add photos to. Again, tag and ticket and a pullout. Month 10 is an expanding set of pockets. So the pockets will contain a photo mat, the back two contain one, and then the front two have two photo mats in. So you've got six spaces for photos there with your card and your ticket. Month 11, card and ticket has a up and down gatefold. These flaps will hold a four by six photo. And again, this is left open. And your final pull out. Month 12, we have this part that slides up and then these flaps will open. You can tuck your picture in behind her as well. And then you just slide this back up and it will hold in place there with magnets. The back cover is for the first birthday. This is open so you can tuck your picture right into the corner and have your picture behind and so you've got space here for photos space here for photos and then this belly band is rather deep so you can tuck in all their birthday cards or notes or whatever you want to in there so i've done the first birthday separate to the 12th month so you have your 12th month and then you've got your first birthday celebrations there we go this will be available on ko-fi very soon for purchase if you would like to see what I have for sale on Ko-Fi, please click the link in the description. If you have enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Keep crafting. Bye.